is our higher tractor uh, New Holland T7 260 blue power yeah the blue power is a darker blue you've seen with another tractor that's 660 R28 tires on the front and this brand is upside down here so it's like Raider Stone and on the back it's got 650 65 R42 not a preferred choice, we normally have R38s because we find they've got more rubber so they're more comfortable. This is what it was. So. Hydraulic top link, four spool valves, it's got the 360 lighting package on so it's got all the lights on. But again, no, it hasn't got the LEDs on the front here. I think that's an option extra to have those two like that. It's got on high for the summer. Going straight on the trailer. The two blue powers, the one on the right, there's the fine one, the 270 on the baler, and the one on the left is the higher one I picked up. Well, it's yesterday morning, isn't it? It's now past midnight. This is 260 on the straw trailer. Right, just had a, another string error come up. We'll just go and have a, if you look at the back here, you can see there's, oh, there's not a very clean window. Stop that. First, we'll have a look under here. See if we've got any other things hanging down. It's the one, the one that's fixed. This is the far side one. No, there's nothing hanging down there, so there's no problems underneath. So we'll go up top and have a look. If you look at the top here, you've got the, well, I call them lollipops. And this last one here is up. So I know which, exactly which one it is, so we just got under this lid and have a look under here. So I can see this string here is not in the right place, that should be through there. And I've also noticed on the knot, on the knot here, we've got a bit of, bit of string. So I'll just pull this pin out here, put it on this magnet up here, and then we'll lift, then we'll lift this up with this special thing over here and lift it up and see what's wrong underneath there. There's a bit of string got caught around, I'm not quite sure what that is, we've just got to just gotta pull that out of there. That shouldn't be too big a job. Yeah, you just push the knot right down inside the inside the bale. So as the bale comes along, that'll pull that and then this will gradually pull every time it does a thing, it'll go do, do, like that until it's right down and then it should be back and running as it should be again. There we go. Put the knife back in the toolbox. Shut my toolbox. And off we go. Where we're we off and going now, it's a lovely long field. It's not overly big combine, probably about a 18 foot. I think I think it's a 5.4, so that's 18 or 19 foot. Yeah, we just retied the first bale. Just have a look at the back. No, it hasn't taken it. No, there's still something wrong with it. Let's go and have a look again. It's not a very really nice place to be under here. There's absolutely... This was blown down this morning. But basically this string here, would come out, so you have to thread that back up there, back up the top there, through the needle and then back round here so it can start another one up. But no, uh, it's an absolutely fearful job under here. And this is, we've cleaned it down every day. Look at all that all, all on that axle. That's why there's such fire hazards with these balers, because that is blown down meticulously every morning and there's dust everywhere because because the straw is so dry it goes through here and as it's going through just bits like that. You can see my finger, they just sits like that just fall through and of course they don't take long before they build up on here. Alright, we're going again now. Tied them off top and bottom. I'm gonna make some other bail, we'll see. Let's see what happens. 22 
still got a few more flakes to go, so doing about 30, 34 flakes, 35 flakes for about at the moment, so yeah, oh, that was a bit spread out. Seems to be okay. Yeah, that, that's fine. Yeah, good. We're up and running properly now. More bailing, here we come. Well, it's a slightly more flatter ground this week after last week. You did like that video. I knew that I knew that thumbnail would be a hit. I did um there's a lot more people viewed that than uh, my previous videos. I'm back to some more uh hilly land again. Uh, this this is uh, not as bad as the other one was. I'm managing to um, do it different. I'm not going down the steep here. I'm just going to be rather careful. Uh, the, the, you can see at the bottom here the straw is a lot thicker than it is. I'm now going uphill on this on this peak here. It's a lot thinner and a lot whiter than it is down in the bottom here. Yeah, this, this is quite a um, hilly, holy field. I don't think this field can be drained. It's, well, that, I'll show you the hole in a minute when I get back there, but I think it's too uh, too deep. I don't, don't know where the water goes, but we'll have a look in a minute. And someone said, commented in my video that I should uh, have a, well, uh, the heavy duty track would be a good idea, yeah it would, but as I replied to that comment that would be too heavy for everything else that we need it for. But see we're now going up this hill and then this is the you see the colour of the stubble in the bottom there is more more golden. Because this is a tricky straw this is. I don't think there could be any drain through there because I think that the hill that side and whoop, the hill this side I mean this is in a complete hole so whether it's free draining soil or what I don't know but well I've got the four-wheel drive in today I haven't got the diff lock in so it's not quite as bad but you know, I've just got this one more strip here to do on the on the last one but you can see here when I turn the corner the sled is not working terrifically well on this slope. It actually flipped one of the bales, the left hand bales flipped completely on its side. Just the angle of this uh, this hill here. But when I on that other field in that previous video, one of the bales I ejected as I was going up the hill, well I knew I wasn't gonna make it up, it actually um, rolled uh, two times I think before it stopped because it was that steep. So you wouldn't want to be round, doing round bales on that field. Yeah, this one is a bit of a bit of an angle because of the um, back. You think it's flat, but it's actually probably like this. So it's at quite an angle. This one. This is probably the worst, the worst row there is on this field. Sloping towards this hole in the middle. What I'm looking at on this camera, this hole and these hills don't look anything like how big and steep and slopey they are. But Anyway, and then we're now down the bottom of this hole. It's a lot uh, more gold in the straw here. Oh yeah, someone didn't like this sticker here, did they? I think I have to move it. I'll put it. I'll, I'll take it off and put it further down. Quite funny. I, 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 I've been driving this tractor for what about how many hours have I done now? Let's have a look. Down there. Press that button there. Oh yeah. 1044 hours and it hadn't bothered me at all. <laughs> yeah, some of my uh, viewers got a bit wound up about it. No, I'll, I'll sort that out and get rid of it. I'll just put it further down. Sometimes I have to go some strange places to get to my field. But I've got a veil. I've just come through through that that bit there on this track and then got to go through this uh, through this tree two trees here around here across this uh, bit of wasteland here
and then down this hill here. Just following this track. Oh, we're breaking. We're pushing me down the hill. Yes, I will get rid of that sticker, just give me time. If you realise how busy I was, you might look at things a bit differently. So it only takes 10 seconds to take it off. Well, it might do, but you try taking that sticker off when you're driving across the field. So you do it in the morning. Well, I have so many other things to do in the morning. When you realise how busy I am, then you might realise Anyway, right, this is back to the field, was it? Well, here we are again, 29th of July, 2022. Um, unbelievable, really. Most people next week running this way will probably be getting done, look. So this was where I was plowing in, I think, December time. Uh, slightly diff different conditions today, look. I said to Stephen, I said I'll do you a vid to show you the difference. And what a lovely bit of barley, look. Look at that, look. Brilliant. 11.34, 13, look. Very good. Minimum losses. And a good forward speed. No, that is going lovely. That is a lovely bit of barley. That's a lovely swath of straw behind. Oh, you can't see quite the camera, um, the out, yeah, but never mind. Can you see the barley coming out? There, yeah, there's the barley, look. Look at that, look. Lovely sample. So this is a class Lexin 6900 straw walker. This one. Um, I was going to show you um, a crack, right? Which are there, look, the purple ones are a crack. And the blue one is a bit chaff, look. So that camera is videoing that all the time and adjusting the combine as we go along, look. Incredibly clever. I haven't got much left here. Another six or seven rows, I think. So, yeah, should be done. So yeah, thanks for watching another one of my videos. Hope you enjoyed it. I did that live stream the other night. I got cut off at the end. I'm not sure if that's when uh, my wife called me up or if I actually lost signal, but anyway, thanks for those of you who tuned into that. And, uh, thanks for watching. Cheers, bye bye.